and hello everyone! Welcome back to Star Trek Online, Commander Simlex here, and today we will be going over the Dilithium Refinement System in Star Trek Online, continuing our multi-part series on the Dilithium System in Star Trek Online. If you would like to check out part one of the series, where we go over Dilithium gathering and mining within Star Trek Online, you can access it through the link that'll appear now in the upper right corner of the screen. Today we will be going over a system that is built into the Dilithium system, but sort of runs almost in the background a little bit, as it is required to actually access the Dilithium you mine and gather. When you mine and gather dilithium in Star Trek Online, it is given to your character in a in the form of dilithium ore. This ore is actually not usable by your character in any way to gather gear or equipment through dilithium purchases. It is instead sort of an intermediate stage and will need to be refined before it can be utilized. To refine dilithium ore, you need to access the Assets tab in your character's inventory. To access this tab, you can access your inventory through this button here in the upper right corner of your minimap. Once you are in your inventory, you can then navigate to the Assets tab in the upper area of the inventory window. And if you scroll down to scroll down in the Assets tab, you will then find a Dilithium subsection. This Dilithium subsection actually gives you quite a bit of information. It gives you the amount of raw Dilithium ore that your character has in, its, in possession, as well as the number of refined Dilithium crystals that your character has, as well as any Dilithium vouchers your character has. Now, the Dilithium Vouchers are sort of a unique aspect of the Dilithium system, as these vouchers do not actually need refinement in any way. These vouchers are given out as part of events, or projects, or other rewards, and are keyed to a particular system, such as the Fleet System or the Reputation System. In this instance, it is a Reputation Voucher, so these vouchers can only be utilized for purchasing equipment and gear from various reputation systems, such as the Omega Task Force, or the 8472 Counter Command, or any of the other reputation systems. So these are actually locked and cannot be utilized for purchasing gear or hangar pets or other equipment overall, but are instead keyed to a particular system. Raw Dilithium Ore, on the other hand, can be utilized to gather any gear that you would like for your character through the Dilithium store, or through the reputation system, or through the fleet system, through the various installations that your fleet holdings possess. To refine Dilithium and move the raw ore from the ore tab to the refined Dilithium crystal tab, all you have to do is click the refine Dilithium button. Once you click this button, the Dilithium will be refined. However, one thing to note here is that every character is limited to 8,000 Dilithium per day. So when you hit this button, it will deduct 8,000 from the or from the raw ore count and put it into the refined Dilithium crystal area. And then you will have to wait until the following day before you can refine another 8,000 Dilithium. Now, I say this, but there are actually a few ways to go slightly above this limit, but the accessibility of these systems is a little bit harder to access at times, and may not be available for every character or account, depending on the situation. So, one of the ways you can actually go above your 8,000 a day limit for dilithium refinement is to go to a fleet dilithium holding. If you are part of a fleet, 
you can actually go to your fleet's dilithium mine and contact a dilithium mining veteran. This dilithium mining veteran will allow you to refine an extra thousand dilithium per day on top of the 8,000 dilithium that you have access to right off the bat. However, this does require access to a fleet and to the fleet mining base, which is a fleet holding in the Alpha Quadrant. This is not the only way to go slightly above your dilithium refinement count, though. Another way is to get a veteran dilithium refinement access through the Starfleet Academy contact. The Starfleet Academy area has many different duty officer contacts throughout the grounds, but one in particular is quite helpful for dilithium mining. And this person is the dilithium refinement officer or veteran dilithium refiner located just outside the main entrance here. He is a contact that will allow you to process an extra 1,000 dilithium ore per day, similar to the veteran miner that is present on the fleet base, or sorry, the fleet dilithium mine. However, and this is where the may not be available part of what I mentioned earlier comes in. The veteran dilithium mining access is only available to accounts that have been either active in the game for 800 days or to lifetime subscription holders. So you may not have access to the Veteran Dilithium Refiner on Starfleet Academy as a result. In my case, my account is old enough to be an 800-day veteran, so I do have access. And if I hit Process Dilithium, then it will prompt me with a Duty Officer mission. But this Duty Officer mission is very unique in that you do not need to assign any officers. And all you have to do is hit begin assignment, and then in a very short period of time, five seconds, you will then receive another thousand dilithium ore on top of the 8,000 you receive. And that is dilithium refinement in Star Trek Online. There is one other system that is built into Star Trek Online that may be helpful in terms of dilithium refinement. And that, and once again, sorry, once again, before I mention this uh, system, this system may not be available for everyone, so please take this with a grain of salt. The one other system that exists in terms of dilithium refinement is the lifetime membership auto refinement function. If you are a lifetime membership holder for Star Trek Online, you will be granted an extra... Sorry, I shouldn't say extra. You are granted an extra little tool in your arsenal for dilithium refinement, and that is you don't have to log in necessarily to do this refinement. You, as a lifetime member holder, would gain access to the auto dilithium refining. This will grant you the ability, over a number of days, to have the game automatically refine 8,000 dilithium per day. Now granted, something else to note with that system, is that it will not automatically contact the veteran dilithium refiner for you or go to the fleet base or sorry the fleet dilithium mine to contact the veteran refiner there 
and get you the extra 2,000 dilithium through those contacts. It will only automatically refine the 8,000 dilithium that you can get through the standard dilithium refinement system. And it only does this for a number of days after you log on. So say I were to log on today and then not log on for a week or two. Over that week or two, for the first couple of days, I believe there is actually a day limit. I think it's five, but don't quote me on that. For the next five days, you will automatically have the dilithium refined. And this can be very helpful if you don't have the ability to log on every single day to refine the lithium. But, once again, this system is only available to lifetime subscription holders, so your mileage may vary on that one. And this wraps up part two of the R Dilithium series, looking at the Dilithium system in Star Trek Online, and more specifically, the Dilithium refinement system. I hope everybody has found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Commander Simlex, out!